Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming and Zoo Tycoon, the 2001 edition from my childhood. <laughs> oh man, I found the CD-ROMs in the bottom of my closet and I thought we have to take a look at this. I played the crud out of this game back when I was a wee little baby of 11 years old and I loved it because this is one of the few games that my parents considered quote-unquote educational, so I was allowed to play it a little bit more per day than I would have with any other game and it was quite fun for what it was. I mean, yeah, nowadays it doesn't hold up that well. The mechanics are very simple, the graphics are pretty terrible, but whatever. This is a nostalgic trip for me. I'm going to have a heck of a lot of fun with it. We have to try it out and see if it is still as fun as I remember. Now, for this particular video, we're going to be playing with just the vanilla version of Zoo Tycoon. No expansions, no extra content. But what I'm figuring we can do is next video, introduce the Dinosaur Digs expansion, and then after that, we can introduce the Marine Mania expansion. And then after that, we could just freeform it with a sandbox zoo and just have fun with all of the content unlocked. It could be great. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all of the scenarios uh, unlocked because I only recently found this again. So we're going to have to start with something probably on more of an intermediate difficulty. What about the Endangered Species Zoo? This could be kind of fun. We have to successfully mate three of the endangered species in order to sustain their numbers in captivity. What animals do we need? We need a black leopard, an okapi, and a white Bengal tiger. We have 18 months to do it, and the zoo has to be pretty darn good. Well, that's going to be fun. All right, let's give it a go. Welcome to Zoo Tycoon, guys. Yeah, doesn't this look retro as heck? You love it. You know that you do. All right, so it looks like in this particular zoo, we start off with two exhibits. We have a lonely black bear. Hello, black bear. And a lonely moose. Hello, moose. And they don't like these exhibits at all because they're terrible, and it looks like they don't even have any shelters. Let's get rid of these terrible trees and then see if you can rebuild this. If you cannot tell, Zoo Tycoon is a game where you are managing a zoo. You have a zoo park, you gotta make it something awesome so your guests are happy, you gotta build exhibits and make it so your animals are happy, and that makes you money. And that's how you play the game. Now, if we look at this uh, black bear right here, my zookeeper is telling me that we need more foliage, we need uh, more deciduous and coniferous flora, it doesn't like all the grass. It would like some rocks, it would like water, a shelter, anything would be good. Well, I think we can probably arrange that. Nope, put the bear down, put the bear down. All right, let's find you a shelter real quick. How about this right here? Would you like the shelter? He does like that shelter, okay. How about some terrain type? Let's go for a bit of deciduous floor. We'll place some right along over here maybe, something like this, and then you want a coniferous floor, right? Don't worry, I can get rid of all this grass. The grass is terrible, you don't like grass. Um, we'll do some of this, a little bit over here, like so. And I'm just watching those smiley faces, making sure I'm not running out of anything important. He would like to have some fresh water. I can probably arrange that, too. Why don't we place a little bit over here, get rid of some of the extra coniferous floor. And he would like some, uh, rocks or foliage. My wife just interrupted me, by the way, and apparently the people on Discord are aware that I'm recording and want me to say hi to the moose. So, hi, moose! You guys will know what that means when this is released, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and place down a few rocks, make the bear happy, because if the bear is unhappy, he might eat you, and that would be terrible. Actually, I don't think the bear really eats anybody, unless he's released from his cage. Then he might attack people. Too many rocks, apparently. Okay, what kind of, uh, trees do you like, Mr. Black Bear? You like... Trembling aspen trees. Not strong, independent aspen trees, but trembling ones. That's fine. We can place a few in here at the very least. Make you happy. Hey, we got an excellence in exhibit design for displaying at least one animal in a highly suitable exhibit. Awesome. I only fixed one, but apparently it was enough to get the attention of the board of directors. That's great. Oh, no, we got another one. $15,000. That's the easiest money I've ever made. Let's do that again. Oh, too many trees. I'm sorry, I lost my award. The bear is hungry and can't find any food. Well, Mr. Zookeeper, what am I paying you for? Here, face the bear and give him food. There you go, before he kills you. Well done. All right, Mr. Moose, what would you like, Mr. Moose? You think that there's too much grass, you like some water, more deciduous and coniferous floor, rocks, shelters, all the basic stuff. You probably would like to have a female moose too, wouldn't you? Let's place a female moose. There you go, you got a little friend. Place down a wooden shelter, right like that. And then you also wanted, let's see, some deciduous floor, huh? All right, we'll do some of that like so. There we go. I can't see with these stupid trees in the way. A little annoying, aren't they? Okay, hang on, place some over here, do something like this. And then some coniferous floor that goes along like this, and then we'll just fill the rest in with deciduous. 
And place down a couple of weeping willows. Keep it nice and open for the guests to see what's going on in there, but not too much so you can have some privacy if and you would like. That's too many weeping willows. I'm so sorry. Somehow the moose can tell you a specific number. I don't know how. The exhibit is now well suited for the moose. All right, we have two happy exhibits. Perfect. What else do we have going on in here? Apparently we have an animal theater so that the black bear can go and perform. Not really. There's just It just randomly generates another bear. We have a burger stand. We have a soda stand. Do we not have a bathroom? I mean, you gotta, you gotta manage your park kind of like you would anything else, at the very least. Um, family restrooms would probably be sensible, right? We'll go ahead and place one right there. There we go. Now people can go and take a tinkle and won't get too upset and leave me a terrible review. All right, two exhibits down. Now we need more animals. What kind of animals do we want? Now we don't have access to the endangered animals yet. I think we're going to have to unlock those first. Uh, we could go for something kind of exotic and try to draw some extra attention, though. Like, what about this, um, Siberian tiger? That could be kind of cool. Now, it likes Chinese fir trees, and it lives in the coniferous forest. And here's the cool thing. You can actually, like, hit the encyclopedia, and boom! I got all this extra information about all the animals. This is why my parents thought it was educational. Did I read any of this as a kid? Heck no, I didn't. But it was still pretty fun. All right, let's go ahead and build a windowed rock exhibit. We'll place one over, how about right over here? Something relatively close so that the guests can see something almost immediately. Actually, maybe I'll place it, I'll use the corner of the walls. Yes, that makes sense. We'll use, we'll use the natural walls of the zoo to uh, reduce the price of building this out just a wee little bit. Something like this should be fine. Something over here maybe. Uh, I need to rotate my camera around because there's no hot, easy hotkeys to do this. There we go, get rid of that. And then we'll fill out the rest with windowed things like that. There we go, Siberian Tiger Exhibit. Perfect, okay. And now we're ready to go ahead and build out the exhibit. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a quick tiger, get a mail. And the reason I do that ahead of time, rather than just try to prepare the exhibit for him, is because I don't know exactly what he wants. I'd rather just go ahead and use the zookeeper recommendations. There's too much grass to make him happy. Oh no, I'm so sorry. He wants snow, gray stone, and coniferous floor. Well, aren't you complicated? Okay, let's go ahead and place down the coniferous floor. We'll do some like this. There we go. Place it all along the edges so I don't lose track of everything. There we go. That's a little bit too much. Okay, how about a little fresh water? Would you like some fresh water? I can give you fresh water. And then after that, you want some gray stone. No problem, man. I can give you that. There we go. How you feeling now, Mr. Tiger? Uh, too much fresh water, but not enough snow. Oh, okay, I can fix that too. How's that? Better? Poor little guy wants a mate. All right, we can probably arrange that. Then we'll get you a shelter, something like this in the corner for some privacy would probably be fine. And he wants cliffs and hills, huh? Well, those are a little expensive, but I guess we can do that. Let's go ahead and raise the terrain up a little bit. Now, this is gonna be familiar to those who played things like Roller Coaster Tycoon. There you go. Oh, that's too much. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, we made it worse. No! Okay, what kind of foliage do you like? You like the Chinese fur. Right, we looked at that earlier. Okay, Chinese fur, Chinese fur. That's you. No, no, no. That's a regular fur. Chinese fur tree. Place, place, place. A whole bunch of these, but not too close to the walls because you never know if this is the climbing type of tiger. Uh, it probably is, and you guys are much smarter than I, and you know that already, and you're yelling at me through the computer screen. That's okay, though. I don't mind. I love you anyway. And there we go, a suitability rating of 94. That's not half bad for a couple of tigers. Now we'll go ahead and get guests ready for the exhibit. I'm gonna place a nice little path right over here. Do something kind of like this. Do something kind of like this. And then we'll place down a bench. Rotate that around like so, so people can take a look. We'll place a little exhibit sign so that people can read all about the tigers. And there we go. We've created ourselves another wonderful exhibit. Of course, that means I need to raise the price. Sure, $25 to see a couple of tigers, a bear, and some mooses? Seems reasonable enough to me. They'll pay it. Now, if we're going to complete this scenario, we know that we need to have some endangered species. So let's go to the research and conservation tree. And I can pay to have some extra training and stuff. Uh, I don't mind getting some zookeeper training. That's probably worth it. But over here, we want to make sure we're selecting only endangered animals. So when I spend some money on research and development, we get something like the white Bengal tiger. And the sooner we get that, I think the more time we're going to have to have a baby born, 
which uh, is what we need to win the scenario. So that's certainly going to be good. Now we do need to get ourselves some new staff because I see people littering everywhere, which is rude, by the way. So we'll hi hire him real quick. He costs me $300 per month. That's not too bad. Zookeepers cost a little bit more, $800 per month, but I'll let you in on a little secret. If you can't afford to have more zoo uh, zookeepers, easiest thing to do, go find the zookeeper you currently have. He wants to go to the backwoods bear. No problem. I'll just teleport him over here. You can make him go around a heck of a lot faster. And just teleport him like so. And then boom. So that way you don't have to buy more zookeepers. Just keep teleporting them like a madman. And you win. Let's get ourselves another exhibit. What's something that I would like? How about the American bison? American bison is a majestic animal. It costs a lot of money, which means we can charge people a lot more to come and see the exhibit, right? Probably. I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the windowed wooden slats just for the sake of decoration. And I will place you kind of like this. We'll have something that can run between the bears and the bisons. Do this. And then just kind of draw you out like so. Okay. And this is going to be the bison exhibit. Perfect. Now let's get ourselves a male. Maybe one or two females. That can't be too bad. And what do you want? Need some more foliage? We'll be happier with more rocks. There's too much dirt. Too much dirt on this planet. No. Uh, he doesn't like the elm trees. Well, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, princess. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of those. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. I didn't actually want to have the back door over here because then the zookeeper has to walk a long way to get in here. And by the way, it takes forever for the zookeepers to walk pretty much anywhere. So the trick then is to make sure the last block that you place is where you want the door. For example, right here. And this will be, ex uh, sorry, the bison exhibit. I shouldn't have unpaused because I think my bison technically just escaped. And the zookeeper is running to contain him. But that shouldn't last for too long. Uh-oh, my zoo rating immediately plummeted. Uh, zookeeper, do me a quick favor. Put down the bison. Or, or don't. Give it some something to eat. That's fine instead. Um, okay. Yeah, no. Turns out we're fine. Just a little dip in the ratings there, because they thought the bison escaped. The bison also thought that it escaped, but the bison was wrong. Now we need some broadleaf bushes. We can fix that. Hang on. There it is. Doop, 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 doop. Oop, too many bushes. So sorry. Okay. Now we need to get ourselves a shelter. Rotate around like so. And then what kind of foliage and stuff do you want? Fresh water. And get rid of all the dirt, you say. No problem. I'll just use the water to get rid of the dirt. How's that sound? Good enough. You'd be happier if you had some rocks. Okay. Rocks. Here. Have rocks. Didn't you live in the Great Plains? Were there a lot of rock rocks out there? Apparently. Okay. Are you happy with this exhibit? There we go. The exhibit is well suited. Now, it says that, but it lies. The suitability is currently only 84. So I know that I could do something else better. Maybe a couple of extra rocks. Maybe not that many. A baby bison was already born! Well, that took no time at all! Mazel tov. Hey, look at that. We finished the research. Now we can have the white Bengal tiger. What are we researching now? Lowland gorillas? I mean, that's great, but that's not quite the animal I'm looking for. Still, we'll let it finish its research. So the white Bengal tiger. Okay, um, what should we do with you then? Well, uh, I guess we'll use the windowed rock exhibits. That could be kind of cool. And this time we won't place it um, quite so far away from the road. We'll just do something like this. Rotate it around like this. Do something kind of like this. And then we'll just do regular rock from there on out to give the exhibit a little bit of privacy. Let's make sure that we control where the door is going to be. Right there is fine. Wall this area off. And white Bengal tiger exhibit can't fit that many all right white bengal exhibit alone should be fine perfect all right delete delete let's go ahead and get ourselves a shelter preemptively and then let's get ourselves a male and a female so that we can reproduce and has a baby tiger and what do you want here there's too much grass and not enough rainforest and water and stuff okay that's fine we can fix that for you give me one second let me just place down a few of these mangrove trees, and boom. Looks to me like we have a couple of happy little tigers. No, 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 don't allow them to escape. They're happy. They don't want to leave me. Okay, perfect. And now the exhibit is well suited at a rating of 93. That's not half bad. All right, guys. Go and have a baby. Save the species. It's your primary biological function. Oh, wonderful. We are indeed researching the black leopard. Okay, one more endangered species on the way. 
Um, I think down in this area, we can probably go ahead and develop the park itself and less of the exhibits. So let's get rid of some trees so I can actually see what I'm doing. And look through the structures and see if anything here interests me. Now, one thing you always want to get is a compost building. But don't place it next to the people because they might upchuck a little bit. Instead, take it somewhere far off in the corner like so. And all it's going to do is just take the natural poop of all your animals and just compost it and make a lot of ex uh, exotic fertilizer. And people pay big bucks for that. So now it's just a passive money generator for the rest of the game. We could also go ahead and get rid of these burger stands and drink stands and stuff and instead give myself some sort of a restaurant. Restaurants are always pretty good. They do the same thing, but they don't create trash. And this way I'm hoping people will pay the buku bucks in order to have a sit-down restaurant experience rather than fast food. The only exception I might make is for ice cream because kids do tend to like the ice cream. So where are you? There you are. Ice cream. Place you right here. There you go. You can have ice cream at the very least. That's all you get, though. That's all you get. And from there on out, we could also place a gift shop. We could have a carousel, an elephant ride. That could be kind of fun. People like elephant rides, I think. All right, let's go ahead and place... Um, Let's actually place this... Oh, apparently we almost ran out of money. An emergency fundraiser just got me some uh, some money. That's that's awesome. Let's sell off this bathroom and move it somewhere else because I don't like its current positioning. Uh, we'll place you right over here. There we go. Okay, and then we will run a path right up through here. And people should pay to ride an elephant. So it gets some guest happiness because they have more to do. And it also will end up making me some money. And from here we can actually track the profit that we get for every building that we've placed. For example, right now, $120 for the Rainforest Restaurant, even though it's been barely open. The Elephant Ride is about to make its first customer. There you go. Ice cream stand. The uh, Animal Theater's made a few hundred bucks. That's not half bad. Not half bad at all. And if we look down here at the compost building, it also is generating some money. Cool. So now all we have to do is just sit back and generate some cash and then uh, place some more exhibits so we can draw more guests. What terrible noises the bongos make. What the heck is a bongo anyway? They sound kind of silly. All right, more animals of the same type. Some of these guys like to be in herds, so we can fix that. Oh, they do not like to have competing males, though, apparently. All right, we'll go ahead and get a refund for that one. So sorry to offend. Stop yelling at me. You're so loud and annoying. I can hear a whole bunch of people throwing up. I'm pretty confident that's a sign that the, the animals are pooping a little bit too much, and I can't quite keep up with it. Right, now I'm getting a harsh reminder as to why you keep the exhibits a little bit further away from the main pathways. <laughs> Oops. Hey, do I have a baby Siberian tiger? Oh, he's a little cute little tiger cub. It's the wrong kind of animal, though. That's unfortunate. Hey, Bengal tigers, your Siberian cousins have an idea what they're doing. Come on, get busy. Oh, thank you. Highest customer satisfaction, $25,000. That was the cash influx that I needed to keep the zoo going. Wonderful. Well, we do have access to the Black Leopard, so again, I guess we might as well go ahead and get started with these so they have an opportunity to have a little baby. So, I just placed something up here accidentally. What was it? I have no idea. We will place um, a windowed rock exhibit. It says things can climb over it. I don't think the Black Leopard will climb over it, though, right? Pretty sure? Oh, I hope not. All right, we're going to go ahead and place you then. You're going to be right up in, let's say, here. Okay, we'll have a nice windowed area like this. And then we'll give the animals some privacy from here on out. We'll use the back... Wow, this is a big exhibit. This is way bigger than I think I was expecting it to be. Maybe not quite this big. Uh, we'll do something like this instead. do 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 And this will be the black leopard. Would help if I could spell it out. Exhibit. Perfect. Black Leopard Exhibit. Okay. Place a male. Place a female. They are loud, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Get rid of the elm trees. They hate them. Okay. You need rainforest trees. The terrain is too steep. The terrain is too steep for you? All right. Fine. Go ahead and just uh, reduce. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. That's not what I wanted. We'll reduce this down a little bit, shall we? How's this? It's a little expensive, but if this makes you happy, so be it. I can pay, I can pay that price. It's worth it. Oh, this particular animal wants to have a toy, huh? 
I don't know if I've got anything that you're going to like. Lion rocks, orangutan, jungle gyms. None of this is going to work. That's unfortunate. Okay, so if we actually do want to get you something, then I'm going to have to uh, have animal enrichment be my top priority. As soon as we come up with more nutritional animal food, that's what I'll do. Don't worry, black leopards. I'm sure I can find you a toy. Where'd you go? Oh, you're, hi you're hiding inside your shelter, huh? That's okay. You can be shy if you want to. It's all right. I won't judge you. Oh, perfect. It's already doing it. A swinging log toy. I think that'll make the leopards happy. Oh, wait. The swinging log is something that only makes... It only makes the, the elephants happy. Well, darn. I don't suppose that you guys like to have lion rocks. Uh, no. No, you don't. Oh, well. Hey, we have access to our final endangered animal, the okapi. Which is a weird-looking critter. I've actually never seen that before. A shorter-necked relative of the giraffe? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, these guys like rainforest, apparently. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit low on the funds, so... Gonna be a little bit tricky to uh, pay for all this. Guess I'll just have to raise my prices. Oh, there we go. We can research animal fertility. Increase the reproduction rates of the animals. That sounds like something we absolutely need. Well, maybe I can place an Okapi exhibit somewhere over here where I can try using the walls I've already got a little bit cheaper. Maybe? I don't know. We're pushing it a little bit close. Um, I will place something kind of like this and then run it all the way back here. And then finish it off like so. This is the Okapi exhibit. Okay. I can already see that I'm going to have to destroy a lot of this terrain, but let's see what they want. Place place. You sound like zebras. Congratulations. I've been awarded the silver plaque for diverse species. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a fr uh, with a cash prize, so kind of irrelevant to me. Highest quality exhibits also doesn't come with a cash prize. Come on. Where's my easy money? Okay, well, we officially have all of our endangered animals and I am completely broke. But still, that's something at the very least. So what? We need uh, a rating of 70, so we still need a couple more exhibits. But I'll worry about that later as we get money. We have 18 months in total, and it's only August of the first year, so plenty of time left. Uh, we're just waiting on some babies to be born, and then boom, we win. You know one thing I totally forgot? If you delete the trees, you get some free cash. There's a whole bunch of pine trees over here. I'm freaking rich. Microsoft, why are you flying a plane so low? That's that's how you scare the poor animals. What are you doing? If we're concerned about making some guests happy, another thing that we could do is place down one of these like special houses. Uh, let's see, like the primate house, for example. So it's got a bunch of primates that really aren't worth having an entire exhibit dedicated just to themselves, but it does make people happy to have the option. So let's see if I place one right over... Here, for instance, like so. Boom. Costs a fair chunk of money, and of course we have to upkeep the thing, but now we have a primate house, which I think will increase the overall rating of my zoo ever so slightly. Okay, now we officially have the 12 exhibits I'm looking for. The only thing we're missing are the babies. And I already have the fertility technology I was looking for, so... Where are the babies? Well, speaking of which, congratulations on the birth of an endangered animal. The timing of that was amazing. The publicity resulting from this event has attracted the attention of a private foundation and gave me 10,000 bucks. Oh, that was totally worth it. What did we have? Was it a white Bengal tiger? I think it might have been. Oh, it's a little white Bengal tiger cub. It's so cute in its pixelated state. I mean, it's not easy to tell, but trust me, it's cute. Yeah, we got another one! A black leopard! Oh, they're all coming at once! Wonderful! Okay, now we have a black leopard cub. All I'm missing then is an Okapi baby. What would you call it? Calf? Thing? Small one. I don't know. Just missing one of those and we'll win the scenario. I'm gonna place a little bit of flower beds here and there to kind of beautify the area. Tiny little bit. I mean, isn't this fun? Doesn't this just give you the good old-fashioned tingles in your tummy? Remembering how things used to be, the good old days of childhood gaming. Oh, I do. I do. Hey, hey! Okapi has given birth! We got another $10,000! Is that the end of the scenario? Well, we've accomplished every single goal. 
But because this is the type of scenario where by the end of it you have to have a certain zoo rating and stuff like that, the developers of the game thought, ah, you know what, they'll love to sit around doing nothing for several months. And that's exactly what's going to happen. We're seriously just going to leave the game to run for the next, like, 30 minutes, and the scenario will finally be over. That is, that is the one downside of this game. No two-time speed, no easy way to just end the scenario once you've finished all your goals. There have definitely been times when I have completed my scenario objectives within five minutes and had to sit around for a full hour until the scenario was done. That's the main reason I haven't done more of the beginner scenarios, because I know that it's a total waste of my time. Good lord, Siberian Tiger 9? How many babies have they been having? Sell them! Oh look, they're happy to see their siblings gone. That's just horrible. Do I hear a sleigh somewhere? Oh, there's Santa Claus! I guess it is December of my first year. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus! Thank you for gracing my zoo. We can actually see here what some of the popularity is for all of my different exhibits and what kind of donations we get because of it. For example, the chimp exhibit, which apparently got renamed to Exhibit 16, doesn't seem to be very popular at all. The wild horses, on the other hand, people like them a lot. The Okapi are great, 280 bucks. That's awesome, but nobody cares about camels. So sad. Kangaroos are pretty popular. Black leopards are popular. The bongos, nobody likes the bongos. White Bengal tigers, absolutely. The bisons, meh. Siberian tigers, though. Those are the ones that make me the big money. And then there's the moose. And then there's the bear. Tigers are the way to go, basically, is what it comes down to. Ugh. The one thing you never really get used to are those stupid chimes. There it is again. From things like ice cream stands or whatever. It's the same dang song over and over and over again. I'm really sick of hearing it. Aw, oh, I have the most popular zoo. 500 guests. Wow, that's actually a lot of people crammed into this tiny little zoo. That's pretty cool. It's been about 30 minutes and we're only in April because I cannot speed up this scenario at all. Again, number one complaint with Zoo Tycoon. Now we sit and wait, forever and ever and ever. Well, I think we're almost to the end of this scenario. 18 months, man, it just... just flies by, doesn't it? It's been two hours for this scenario, ouch. <laughs> oh well, looks like we actually just got our cat climbing tree, which is what our leopards absolutely wanted, so they get to end with a bang. But this is the zoo! It looks pretty good, and we have even more tigers being born. But yes, I have one. I could indeed continue playing this scenario, or we can just accept the fact that I have one, that the zoo is awesome, and move on to the next challenge. This is what we will do in the next video. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this uh, blast of the past here. Next time we'll come back with the dinosaur expansion, which some people say ruined the game, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. If you did enjoy, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment showing your support, subscribe, and of course hit that notify button since that's all that seems to matter these days. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.